Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Cardano, it's going nuts. So, we have to do another video on it. We're gonna update the chart, maybe even discuss an exit plan. Now, I know that might be, God forbid, an exit plan on a cryptocurrency that we need to hold to the moon. But, I ask you, are you here to make gains? US dollars, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and more Cardano down the track? Or, are you here to battle it out with some other knobhead on the internet? Your call. So I'm going to look at the charts today, a little bit of Cardano news, just an update. So I'm planning to make this one a quick one. If you like the sound of that, hit me in the subscribe down below right here, bell notification icon, like the video up. Let's get it to 1500 likes today. You know the drill. Let's dive into it. Market cap today is 1.4 trillion. Bitcoin 888, love that price, 888 billion. Ethereum 173 billion, Cardano 40 billion. We've taken out Binance now. Binance is on the decline, Cardano is on the increase. We've been talking about that all week on the channel when it comes to Cardano. That's why I was looking at Cardano as a better option than Binance. Binance has had its peak, now it's Cardano's turn. So remember that when Cardano does peak even harder than it is doing right now. We don't know for sure, no one knows for sure whether this will be the final peak for a little while or do we have a lot more in the tank? A lot of us believe there's a lot more in the tank in the short term, but may I remind you, on the 1st of March, the hard fork is happening, the merry hard fork. Usually, like we've seen in the past with almost every other cryptocurrency, when a hard fork happens, we get all of the buying pressure run up into the news, then the selling pressure comes after the news. Maybe it happens a day before because everyone's anticipating it. Maybe it happens a day afterwards because there's still so much excitement in the coin. Give it a couple of days either side. So this is where we need to be on high alert because there is a lot of emotion coming in. There's big news and the price is increasing. So there's a lot of stuff coming together at one time which could really skyrocket the price. But then we've got to be on the lookout for a dump, which is why I talked about an exit plan. Looking further down the list, Binance, Polkadot, Ripple still not showing its head, and Litecoin and Chainlink, which I'll do another video on today. So stick around for that on the channel, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's have a look at the fear and greed index like we always do. Fear and greed 56, we are starting to cool off a little bit. So this is great news that we can still see Cardano heading up during this period of the market cooling off. Last week we were nuts, 91 on the, on the greed. Previous to this, last month, obviously we had that little bit of a, a dump last month on Bitcoin, which took the rest of the market with it. 55, so we've seen this level before and we've seen ourselves recover from it. This is the reminder, merry hard fork. It's still trending, it's still significant. There's a lot going on here. And if you want, check this one out, coinmarketcow.com, coins with potential. Now I've done no research on these coins, but here is one option to start investigating other coins which may or may not have a pump at some point in the future. I don't know, but surely there are other people looking at that and if we can find other coins which have a lot of votes, uh, a lot of significance, they're hot, maybe we can find a pump out of those. So why is Cardano pumping? There's an article here on Decrypt, two reasons they've listed which we both already know. Hard fork is coming up. And the second one, maybe we don't know, there was a buy. There was a fund which has sold $750 million worth of Bitcoin to buy Cardano and Polkadot. You know we've been talking about Polkadot as well on the channel. Just yesterday and the video uh, the day before, we're looking at Cardano and Polkadot as hedges against Ethereum. And so far, Cardano has done very, very well. Polkadot has had its turn as well. Maybe we're going to see some more Polkadot later on in this uh, crypto bull market. So this is what we're talking about here. Dubai investment firm sold $750 million in Bitcoin so it could buy ADA and Polkadot. So just keep that in mind. We haven't seen the pump on Polkadot, which is why maybe this news isn't so relevant for Cardano. Either way, it's a pretty big bag to be buying. Cardano, ADA, Polkadot, DOT. Let's take a look at couple more things here. I don't think I've mentioned this one on the channel before. There is altcoin season, blockchaincenter.net. Now I found this on Twitter. I don't think it has very much relevance at all. So if you do see it yourself, maybe just kick it to the side. I thought I'd bring it up because it sounds like a fantastic metric that you can just come here, have a look to see whether we are in altcoin season or not. But just a quick look at this. I think it 
is a little bit of a lagging indicator, a very much a lagging indicator. And we can see that just by looking at January 2018, by the time the coins had peaked, the market was just about over. Alt season was just about over. Alt season started late December. You know, Bitcoin is pumping. Bitcoin hits its top in 2017 on the 17th or 18th of December. Then the altcoins start to pump. And by this stage, once we've reached this season, we're already two weeks into it. So you've missed the massive gains. So just keep that in mind. It's a fun little chart to look at. You can have a look at uh, altcoin season. Basically, if the coins are in the top 50, are exceeding Bitcoin, 75% of them are greater than Bitcoin's gain in that period. So for season, it's 90 days, for month, it's 30 days, and for alt, C, uh, alt year, it's the last 365 days. If they've exceeded Bitcoin's growth, then they come over to this side and that makes up the 75%. So, so far in the altcoin month, we have 75% of coins doing better than Bitcoin, which is why they're calling it a an alt coin month. But we can all see that a lot of these coins have pumped already in this month, which is what puts them into the top 75%. With that said, let's have a look at the charts. Ada Cardano, let's update this. We're on the weekly. This was the breakout we looked at. It's beautiful. It's perfect. It broke a resistance level. It was a nice setup after a good solid pump on high volume. Top that we're looking at here is around $1.40. And should we break through that? Fantastic. Let's see if we can get a nice slice through that like we did with Bitcoin and it just kept going. Two things I will note on this though is with Bitcoin and Ethereum so far, which are two of the major cryptocurrencies that have broken through their all time highs, they first came back and hit it and there was some resistance for a period of time. Remember Bitcoin back here. We just take the chart and we look just here. There was about one, two, three, four or so weeks before we took off. So if you want to see that in a little more detail, it's a long time ago now when you see it. This is the $20,000 level. There's one week, two, three, four, and on the fifth week, Bitcoin broke through. Let's have a look at Ethereum. This is on the dollar chart. Ethereum at the approximate 400, uh, 1420 level. Ethereum one, two, three, four, and then on the fifth week, it really got going above that level. So we did touch it, we did break out of the top a little bit, just like Bitcoin did. And then it wasn't until the fifth week that it was a little more confirming. You know, we got that move well above it, a nice solid close above that high. Maybe we'll see something like that in Cardano as well. I, no one knows, I don't know. But it's happened already on two of the major cryptocurrencies. The timing seems like it would set up quite nicely for Cardano to do that. Maybe we do get a little pump above it leading into the hard fork. Maybe we just slice straight through and go to $3 already, who knows? But I'm just looking at history, I'm looking at what's happening in the market at the moment, what the general feel is that's happened in crypto throughout this, uh, this, this bull market, and just understanding that that could be a possibility. So if we come up to it, maybe this is the first week that we hit close to this top. You know, we've just come up at $1.33. So we're only about seven cents away from the all time high. So if we take another few weeks from this point, measure it out. This is, let's call this the first week that we're in now. One, two, three, four weeks leads us into around the 15th of March, which would be a perfect time for a low in Bitcoin, which marries up very nicely with a one year anniversary from last year. March is known in markets to have lows, whether it's a major low, a minor low, it's a good time for a low. So we're expecting that. Then the following week after that would be our fifth, sixth week that we can break through the top. That leads us into around the 22nd of March. So the week beginning the 22nd of March could be a nice decisive break. This is just a possibility that I wanna be prepared for just in case we don't get the break that we're expecting here where it just moons. If you have seen on many other channels, it's pretty much across YouTube to talk about Cardano. Everyone is talking about Cardano, that Cardano has to go to $5, $10, I don't know, are some people calling it $100? Who the hell knows, it's ridiculous. So there is a lot of interest in this market and there's a lot of new money. Maybe you're just new to cryptocurrency and you're seeing this for the first time, you're seeing Cardano everywhere and it sounds like a great idea because it's already moved up so it feels safe. It's a coin that's moving. Ideally, we wanna be in the markets at these levels. These are the times when no one's talking about it. 
You probably never heard of cryptocurrency back in May, June, July of last year, but these were the safest times to be buying when no one else is buying because then you get the massive gains. Right now, those guys are sitting on 1,600%. People who bought in March are sitting on close to 2,000, 6,000%. It's crazy. The amount that's that people could gain from this is very, very high. So be aware of that. If you're only looking for a double from here, 100%, just remember that there are people that bought in April and are now sitting on 4,000, 5,000, 6,000% returns in a dollar value. So big, big money for a lot of people. They could have a lot of Cardano for a few cents. Now it's worth a dollar something. So Cardano exit plans. Let's keep an eye on the swings like we always do. Daily chart. We are accumulating above the levels. We don't want to see it break down because that would be a very strong sign of time might be up for Cardano for a period of time, comes back and resets. Personally, I think we've got a little more to go in this tank before we see something like that happen, but it's on my radar. Like it's something that will happen eventually. And if we want to stack even more Cardano because we don't have enough of it now, we don't feel like we have enough of it or we don't have enough money coming in to buy more of it, then these would be the opportunities to look for. We want to look for spikes in price. We want to look for it to be mass hysteria, super greed, super FOMO. Then start to create that plan to scale out of some of the positions so that you have some funds available later. No one's ever going to catch the exact top and buy the exact bottom in that same move. So don't worry about it. Just take a nice chunk so you've got some money left over and hit it again. Go for it again. Don't get married to these things. Hit it and quit it. Cardano looking strong. Ethereum against uh, Cardano against Ethereum, amazing. It's what we've been waiting for. We've been looking at the swings. It's been incredible. Uh, Cardano versus Binance exactly what we were waiting for back through this area. This was looking like a nice setup, but Binance had had its time. Cardano was looking like it was a good move in. So some of those gains could have been rotated from Binance into Cardano if you happen to get onto Binance. So this is stuff that we also talk about. Stick around till the end of the video because I'll leave a link to this video that I talked about. Cardano, Polkadot, Ethereum, Binance, comparing all four of those specifically in that area and that's a good video to uh, refer back to moving forward so that you can see how we compare different cryptos against other cryptos. That's the update for Cardano. Congratulations if you are holding a nice strong bag of great gains. Try to get some profits out of it. Of course, I'm not giving you financial advice. I just hope that you can get some gains and continue to rotate those gains into other cryptos, other assets beyond cryptocurrency so that you can build your retirement fund, you can build your financial freedom and do the things in life that you love to do. I'll leave that video there. I've got another one coming out today, so stick around for that. Check out the videos from yesterday. Like the video up if you haven't already and you found value from this video. Down below, 1500 likes, can we get there? Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you over on Instagram for updates, daily Q&As and updates of my retirement fund, crypto retirement fund. And if you want to know more about trading, I've got a link to the Investors Accelerator membership down below, 15% off at the moment, 120 bucks off the course. Uh, get the link down below. See you over there in the group. Until next time, have more fun to get more done.